Happy New Year. It is the first year where I celebrate here in my new house. And I'm still a little bit sick, but I wanted to send you this short and sweet message because it is a tradition of mine. Every New Year's Eve before midnight, I take time for myself and celebrate myself. I get dressed up and today I filmed a little reel which encaptures the vibe for me personally for 2024, which captures also my word for 2024, which is glorious fame. It is a big word and I know it's going to be a massive, big, expensive year. And I'm so excited that you're in my world. And I want to share with you this moment here where I really let this year sink in for myself and celebrate myself and be so proud of how I managed to master, to conquer, to overcome, to withhold, to stand, to heal. All the challenges that this year was, it was a big year, a challenging year for all of us, but so much growth has happened. And every New Year's Eve, as I said, I sit and then I dance a lot and I listen to music and maybe tears are coming. And this year was so special because the, the past years there was always this, I'm so proud of myself and it felt a little bit lonely and I was a little bit sad that you know I hadn't had my circle that I really could celebrate with or I was hoping that next year it felt easier and a little bit less effort that I had not have to work so hard or when will it be my turn when will I be seen you know this projector wound that was always there but this year is so special because for the first time I don't feel this at all actually it feels with this house in particular it feels so like coming home to myself to what I want remembering who I always were what I'm always was capable of but never fully stepped into or allowed myself to really bring to the table and the last especially three months changed so quickly so many things so much recognition and so many things that I've been waiting for in Protector Meno for so long so I but what was the pivoting moment was the years before. I kept celebrating myself, I kept going, I kept showing up, I kept believing in myself. And I kept not settling for less than I want. And so my, my message for you is, even though this is not yet the full new year, we know in human design the new year begins on January 22nd, especially this, this month with January and Jupiter going in Aquarius, like there is so much waiting for you. So don't be discouraged, actually set the bar higher. And my message for you is, don't settle for less than you want. Don't settle in your desires, don't settle in your relationships, don't settle in your investments, don't settle in your time and your energy. Don't settle in your availability for really only allowing the things into your life and giving your energy and attention to what feels good to you. And in order to manifest the most insane life that you want, whatever your wants are, all that you need to know is how you're made and designed to make it happen in the most effortless, joyful way and your human design gives you the answers for it. So instead of asking, how can I create that goal that I want for 2024? Ask yourself, how can I be more myself and get to know you even more and how your energy works best is 
maybe one intention, one focus that you want to set. But before we go into the how and make it happen, it is very, very, very important that you allow yourself to want what you really want. And so my wish for you, the next years, like in the end forever, is that you own your desires, what you want, that you don't settle for less, and that you be more and fully who you really are. And I remember I say that every new year, and in the end, it's just that what is required. Because the more authentically you show up, the more you connect with people, the more, the better you feel, the more magnetic you are, and you attract exactly what you want. If you fake it, if you don't show the world who you truly are, the world cannot see you and you will feel invisible and you attract the things that match that fake energy. So own your desires, own who you are, bring all the bigness into the next life phase for you, whatever that is, and get yourself into the rooms of people Get the support, especially next year, you need that in all areas where you want to grow. And then know that big things are coming. And usually we distract our same things ourselves with two little things. So that's why here my reminder, start big, start here. Take away the focus and the energy and the headspace and the not-self mind chatter from the things that are really not mattering. Go bigger in your desires and how you show up in your investments, time, energy, finances. And then we celebrate every day that you are fully in integrity and in self-trust with your purpose, your mission, your vision, and in the end, who you truly are. So, I'm wishing you the best year ever. I know it's going to be. I know it's coming. I'm excited for it. I keep celebrating. One, one thing that I'm going to add to my list of intentions this year is I'm going to dance more. I want to celebrate more. So maybe you want to join me for this. I'm sending you so much love and I'm going to talk to you soon.